Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man walah All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the heavens and the earth the maker, the creator of this universe and peace and blessings upon our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam My brothers and sisters, in this Jumu'ah khutbah insha'Allah ta'ala we gonna be talking about who is Allah and what does Allah mean to you subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters a lot of us we do ask this question and if you ask any of us who is Allah you say oh Allah is the creator of the universe that's it my lord the creator of the universe what does Allah mean to you my lord that I worship that's it subhanallah but there is more into it than just this brothers and sisters and it is something that we should reflect and ponder upon, brothers and sisters. So to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we worship Allah who created all of us, Allah who made all of us, and we all in a journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Allah, yes, without doubt, the one who created, the one who made this universe, brothers and sisters, Anything and everything in this universe, Allah made it. You can look in the heavens, in the earth, within the sea, the stars, the moon, the, the mountains, animals, plants, human beings. Subhanallah, Allah made all of them brothers and sisters. Subhanallah. So then you see Allah, the maker, the creator of this universe. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who controls this universe? Who, you know, decides how this universe functions? Who makes sure that the universe if is functioning properly, brothers and sisters, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Who provides for all his creation? Who provides for all of them? Who sustains for all of them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Who rewards them for their good deeds, for their righteous deeds? You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. What gives them cure from any illness or sickness? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who forgives them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, brothers and sisters. When you understand all of this, then you realize that you are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you have a need for Allah. That you are really and truly in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah is not in need of you. Allah is not in need of no one. But we're all in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, subhanallah. And that's why in Surah Al-Fatiha that we recite when we do our prayers, our salah, uh, five times a day. And we recite this Surah Al-Fatiha at least, at least 17 times a day, brothers and sisters. We start by saying, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to the Lord of the world, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We start by praising Allah. You just start to pray, say Allah Akbar, you start Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You start reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, which is obligatory in any salah. And then you say, you're praising Allah. Why? For all the blessings that He has bestowed upon you. For everything that He has given you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for the guidance that He has guided you to connect with Him, to pray to Him, to worship Him. SubhanAllah, brothers and sisters. And it's only when we reflect and ponder upon all of these meanings, we understand who is Allah. And we will start to beautify our relationship with Allah and to build a love relationship between us and our Creator. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. You know. Without Allah, life will not have any purpose. Life would not have taste. There is no taste to our lives, brothers and sisters. Imagine you eating food with no spices, with nothing. It will have no taste. So a life without Allah, a life that is not in the path of Allah, has no taste, brothers and sisters. Has no purpose, subhanAllah. So we need to have a life that has a taste, a life that has a purpose, brothers and sisters. Subhanallah. 
And one way of doing that is that to learn is knowledge. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَعْلَمْ And know and learn that there is no one other than Allah. There is no Lord. There is no deity other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah said, فَعْلَمْ Meaning knowledge, you have to learn, you have to know that there is no one other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that requires learning, brothers and sisters. So learning is the first stage of connecting with Allah, is the first stage you know, in knowing who is Allah and building a relationship with Allah and having a life with taste and having a life with a purpose, brothers and sisters. And then Allah said, Allah is the noor, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. Meaning when you connect with Allah, Allah will give you the noor, because his noor is in the heavens and the earth. So the noor of Allah that is in the earth, Allah will give you that noor. But why? Because you are under his shade, you are in connection with him, you are connected with him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. But only when we know what is Allah and we understand, then we start praising Allah. So that when you read your Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayers, in the Salah, then you're praising Allah properly because you have understood who is Allah. You have the knowledge of who is Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. And then, more than that, in you, is, you, is that you look you know, at the creation of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. And one of the creations of Allah, for example, is the angels, the malaika. And one of them is the chief of all the malaika, of the angels, which is Angel Jibreel alayhi salam. Gabriel, peace be upon him. Jibreel alayhi salam, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. In, in Musnadul Imam Ahmad, on the authority of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, he said that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi said that uh, when he saw Jibreel alayhi salam, because on the night journey of Isra and Mi'raj, subhanAllah, Jibreel had 600 wings. 600 wings, 600 wings brothers and sisters and each wing, just one wing covers, covers everything that is in the heavens brothers and sisters, covers everything in the horizon brothers and sisters, just one of the wings, imagine 600 wings but each wing covers everything in the heavens and everything in the horizon, subhanallah. This is the beauty of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters. And more than that, if you know, if you want, or if we want to know who is Allah, there is an ayah in the Quran, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. There is an ayah in the Quran that if you reflect and ponder upon the ayah, subhanAllah, you will understand who is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a Subhanallah What an amazing ayah That teaches all of us about who is Allah Allah the Almighty said Subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters said Qul ya ibadiyya So say, say oh my servants Say oh my slaves Say oh my servants Alladheena asrafu ala anfusim Who have transgressed against themselves La taqnatu min rahmatillah Do not despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'ah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins, subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ayah is an amazing ayah. Those who have committed dhulm, transgression, those who have been sinning for all, you know, all their lives, those who have been committing shirk, associating partners with Allah, those who have doing, been doing all sorts of bad sins, Allah is saying, Allah is calling them and saying to them, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِي Oh my servants, can you imagine somebody is committing adultery, he's drinking, he's gambling, stealing, he's killing, he's backbiting, he's doing all sorts of bad sins. And Allah is still calling him, Oh my servants. SubhanAllah brothers and sisters. Allah is calling him my servant. SubhanAllah brothers and sisters. الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا Who have transgressed. I know you've done wrong. I know you've been sinning. I know you've been gambling. You've been drinking. You've been backbiting. You've been stealing. Whatever. But you are still my servants. Subhanallah. And then Allah said, لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Do not despair from my mercy, from the rahmah of Allah, from the mercy of Allah. Don't despair. 
Inna Allah aghfirud dhunuba jami'a. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. I forgive all sins. Just come to me. Knock on my door. Connect with me. Subhanallah. I will wipe out all the sins and indeed, and in fact, I will turn all of them into good deeds. Subhanallah, brothers and sisters. Subhanallah. If we reflect and ponder upon this ayah, it will teach all of us who is Allah. Allah Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, the most gracious, the most merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. His mercy wa rahmati wasi'at kulla shay. His mercy, he said, my mercy encompasses everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is Allah, brothers and sisters. And it is something that we should reflect and ponder upon all the time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the people of tadabbur, among the people of reflection, among those who ponder and reflect upon the religion of Allah, upon the signs of Allah and those who practice what they learn and we ask Allah to bring ease to all of us and to humanity and we ask Allah to keep all of us firm upon the straight, uh, the straight path until the day we return to Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.